Hello everyone, this is Brian with BSN Tech Networks. I'm bringing you a video tutorial on the new real estate manager that BSN Tech Networks uses to create websites that need such functionality. In the event that you need to have an affordable website designed, certainly look up BSN Tech Networks at www.bsntech.com. That's B as in boy, S as in Sam, N as in Nancy, tech.com, and we will certainly assist you with your website endeavors. The previous real estate listing manager that we used, as you could see in our other YouTube video in our channel, was pretty limiting, and we had a couple of complaints about it. It only allowed our customers to upload up to two listings or images for their listings, and the new manager, you are allowed to upload as many pictures for your real estate listing that you'd like. So we went ahead and changed over and modified our program a little bit in order to set this for our customer requirements. First of all, you should have received a username and a password from us to log into your administrative portal. In the event that we did not send you a username and password, certainly reach out to us and we will get that out to you as soon as we can. After you log in, you are greeted with the home screen. So you'll hover over components, go down to real estate manager, and first of all we're going to go through some of the settings. Now by default we set all these for you, so you really shouldn't need to change them unless you have other specific needs. For example, the show rent status and show buy status, those are both set to yes. But th what does this do? We come back here and we look at one of our listings, click a subcategory, and then I'll choose this one. You'll notice at the bottom it says buying request. If I click on this, it then shows your name, email, phone number, and description. This is where a potential customer or visitor that's interested in this real estate listing can send a message to you regarding this listing. So right now it is turned on, but in the event that you want to shut this off, if you do not want to receive inquiries, choose no. At reviews, I'm not fully sure who would like to have this function, but it is a function that is available. What this will allow you to do is allow your visitors to make a rating or a review based on a listing that you have. By default, we do set this to no, but you can turn it on if you'd like. Next is show price. If you want to allow your customers or your visitors to see the price of a real estate listing, make sure you have this set to yes, which is by default. Otherwise, choose this to no. Next one to be concerned with is page items. How many real estate listings do you want to appear in the listings? For instance, in this one, you can see that we have two, but that is because there's only two real estate listings in this category here. Uh, but we have this set at 10, but if you want to have more than 10 show per page, then you can change that here. So in general, those are the settings you should be concerned with. Next is the categories. We have set up these categories by default for your website, so it gives you a rundown of what you can do. Sale and rent are two main categories. Old and new are subcategories that appear under sale. So if you have other subcategories, so if you want to have condominiums, if you want to have townhomes, duplexes, farmland, you can make different categories to help your visitors find exactly what they're looking for. In the event that you want to delete one of these categories, all you have to do is put a checkbox next to it and hit delete. In this case, it will not allow you to delete this category because there are four listings in here. You have to make sure that there are no listings in a category before you delete it, otherwise you'll get an error. Let's go ahead and edit one of these. All you have to do is click on the name, and then you are greeted with the alias and the title. We do recommend that you keep these exactly the same. Parent item, this would be whether this is going to be a category or a category underneath another one, which is a subcategory. If you leave this as top, that means this will be a main category. Otherwise, if you choose another category, such as rent in this case, then the sale category will then be moved under the rent category to make it a subcategory. You can then enter some other details in the category if you'd like. These details will appear up here. So in this case, this is the old subcategory we're in. We don't have anything typed in, but anything that you put in the details will appear up here. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And if you want to make a new one, all you have to do is click on New. 
Again, type the alias in the title. Make sure these are the same. Parent item, top, means it is a main category, or you can choose to make this a subcategory by choosing one of those. And then just fill out your details. Now, if you want this to be published, make sure this is set to yes, which is by default. Otherwise, if you choose no, it will not yet be published to the site. So it will not show up to your visitors. The next thing to cover is then the houses or the real estate listings themselves. In here you can tell that there are some examples that we set up for you. This one right here, this first listing, is not published nor approved, so it is not currently active. It's not showing on the site. These down here all have check marks, green. That means that they are showing up on the site and they are active. You can see here with this 4538 Marine Drive, here it is there, 4538 Marine Drive. So I'm going to click on that so we can go in detail through one of these. So I'll click on this to edit it. And house ID. This needs to be a unique number specifically for this listing. You cannot have any other listing with the same number. If you do, you're going to get an error when you try to save it. So if you have an MLS ID, and this is a perfect place to put it up here. Category. This is where you'll choose the category where you want this to appear under. As you've seen up here, this is in the old category. Let me go back, and you can see that we are in the old category there. Description. This is the information that you can put about the real estate listing. Um, anything that you want to provide or share to the visitors to your website about this specific listing. And where does this appear? This appears right here. So you can see all the information that is put in there. Next, listing type. You have for sale. You also have foreclosure, for rent, room for rent, new home, and sublet. So you can change the type as needed. The price, this is where you will put in the asking price of the property, and price type is either negotiable or starting. Title, this is the title of the property. Now in this case, they just used the address. Of course, you don't have to use an address. You can make it say something like cozy bungalow on a corner. You can certainly do that, but this is where it's going to appear. This is where the title will be there, and it also appears here as well. And if we go back to the listings, the title appears there. You can also see the price right there as well, which is set to zero right now. Next is the address. This is where you actually put in the address of the property. Uh, again, they have just made the title be the same thing as the address, but they also didn't put a price in here. And where does this appear? Right there. That's the actual item you click on to get to this page, and then it shows the address there as well. Next are some more fields that you can do, such as how many bathrooms the property has, how many bedrooms, the broker. If you are doing listings for multiple brokers, you can put in the actual broker that has this property. Contacts, you can put in a contact's name, phone number, email address, uh, as you whatever you need there. Listing status can be active, offer, contract, closed, or withdrawn. Property ownership, there's several different options in here, so part commercial, condo, co-op, you can see the whole array of them in there. Premier class agent, aggregator, broker, again, multiple options. Next is the UE listing bill. Of course, it's a hash one put in, and the pretty result. If it's late, no really reason to this hair, just leave it 1900. Agent, if there's a specific agent that is growing this property, you can put their name in. How much area the house covers can be put in there. Any expiration date when this real estate listing will expire. Features, you can see they have fireplace, recreation nearby, homeowner association, dues, lot size, any specific models, property taxes, schools and school district, the type or the style of house, Cape Cod, Colonial, Craftsman, as such in there, and the zoning ordinance that this property is in, agriculture, commercial, industrial, and such. Next is the photos. This is the main photo. You can see that it kind of stands out up here. Now, what is the main photo? The main photo is what appears on the real estate listings page that shows all the listings and the default picture. So if you take a look at this picture, and we'll go back to the site, you can see that that is the default picture that will display for this property. If we go back to the real estate listings, you can also see that this is the main view for that property as well. Then you can have multiple pictures in here as well. 
these have been uploaded so you can see that there are two current pictures on here and they show down here in the gallery. Going back, if you want to add more photos, all you have to do is click add more photos and then browse for your photo here and then you can just click you can keep clicking add photos and a new box will appear and you can see you're able to put in as many pictures as you want. Now a word about the photos. The more pictures that you have for a real estate listing, the longer time it's going to take to load that real estate listing. So ensure that you have pictures that don't repeat or duplicate each other and use them wisely, otherwise it's going to slow your web page down. In addition, it's a very good idea if you resize the pictures. Most digital cameras nowadays are several megapixels large, and if you were to upload the full picture on here, it would be much larger than what a web browser would be able to support, and it will be excruciating slow to load those pictures for your customers and your visitors. When you upload pictures, we highly recommend that you change the pictures so that they are no more than 400 pixels wide or no more than 600 pixels tall. You will have to use a photo editing program to do this. Uh, if you have Windows, you can certainly use Paint. Uh, Paint will allow you to do that. But again, we do highly recommend you change the size of the pictures to no more than 400 pixels wide and no more than 600 pixels tall. If you want to delete a picture that's already been assigned, all you have to do is click put a checkbox in it, and then when you go up and you hit save, it will delete that picture with this listing. So that is how you would edit the listing. How do you make a new one? You just click on new, and you just go through then and fill out all the details and information. You can see it's all blank here. It's waiting for your input. Next, how do you delete a real estate listing? You just put a checkbox in it. You can go up and hit delete, and then it will get rid of it from the website. If you don't want to delete a real estate listing, but you still want to keep it on the site, but keep it invisible from your visitors, just click this checkbox where it says published, and it will then unpublish it from the site. So if it just needs to be taken down for a short period of time, you can just click that, and it will unpublish it. And then later, when you're ready to bring it back live on the site, just re-click the box to publish it. Well, that is all the information that you need to know in order to take care of your real estate listings with a website that's created by BS and Tech Networks. If you do have any questions about how to do this, or if you are need one of these websites, certainly reach out to us at bsntech.com. This again is Brian with BS and Tech Networks, and thanks again for watching.